Hello, my name is Olivia Stevens, and I am the creator of the upcoming supernatural graphic novel, Artie and the Wolf Moon, coming out from Learner Graphic Universe this September. I thought I'd talk a little bit about the book and what sort of things inspired me to create the story. Artie and the Wolf Moon follows the story of Artie Irvin, a fiercely independent eighth grader living with her protective single mother in rural Oregon. After sneaking out against her mother's wishes to photograph the full moon, Artie encounters a huge wolf who then dons a bathrobe and transforms into her mother. Thrilled to discover that she comes from a lineage of werewolves, Artie makes her mom promise to share all of the secrets, including the story of Artie's human father, who died before she was born. Her mother agrees and solicits the help of some old family friends to help introduce Artie to the world of werewolves. As Artie thrives in a new community with new friends, new abilities, and a new crush, she also encounters new enemies. It turns out that wolves are not the scariest thing you can come across in the woods. Vampires are. So I wrote Artie in the Wolf Moon because I've always had a love for supernatural creatures and how characters grapple with newfound powers and abilities. But most of all, I'm interested in the ways that well-known monsters and cryptids might be reinterpreted in new and exciting ways. Uh, werewolf transformation is often treated in stories as a curse or a battle for control within an individual. But I wanted to write something that borrowed more from natural wolf behavior, where packs are real families and their sense of community with each other makes them stronger. Um, instead of writing werewolves as this violent threat in the story, I wanted to explore them as a source of found family. And I wanted to explore how our bonds with others give us the greatest power of all. Artie has been so long in the making for me, and I am so, so excited for people to read it in the fall. I hope any fans of monsters, family secrets, and all the mysterious things that might happen in the forest at night have a great time reading it.